attractive, right, guys? Yeah, for sure. Hey, yeah. Do you guys know that uh, Taiping is the second largest uh, state capital of Taipo? Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, as far as I know, Taiping is the top three most sustainable city in the world. Enough with the chit chat, guys. Let's get our plan started. Let's, Let's go! go! to Liantong to have our breakfast at there so stay tuned let's go so right now we are at the most uh, well-known breakfast place uh, in Taipei and it is also one of the most uh, mentioned uh, places uh, by the locals uh, as they serve uh, breathtaking breakfast uh, for both locals and also the outsiders. Uh, right, Nirin? Yes, um, it is known as Liantong. Um, you, it is like located at um, Taipei near Jalan Kota. It is like um, a corner shop of some sort and you can right away Google map um, this address below. By the way, uh, do you know that the business hour open at 8am to 2pm? So go grab your car's keys and then straight away come to the restaurant. Um, and the restaurant will open at Monday. Um, is it till Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. So you have six days to go here. Enjoy! Uh, the budget that you guys did already is actually there's no need. Uh, it's only for 42 ringgit and 80 cent, 43, and for five person, so it's kind of cheap. So, if I'm not mistaken, the museum used to be an old style museum with an exhibit arranged in a dusty display cabinet, but now has been taken over with modern makeover. <laughs> Old-fashioned methods of preparing coffee. Uh -huh. um, the, the beans are roasted or over wood wood fires, and then the meal offers several blends for free testing. Oh shoot! Now you guys make me drooling. Let's try the coffee. It's called lemon tea. Yeah. Let me like smell it. Yeah. Oh, it is has like super nice tint of lemon. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. This is like super good. How is it? How is it? The coffee is so delicious. What do you like, taste though? It's a bit bitter but that is my type of coffee. Well, which one do you taste? Uh, I taste it, the, the charcoal roasted white coffee. It's so delicious.
So guys, right now, uh, time is uh, on 7 a.m. We are on our way to go to uh, up on the Maxwell here. So let's go. We cannot go up there because the jeep already broke down. Uh, so we need to change our plan, right, Kong? Yeah. So uh, our plan for the next destination is we're going to the. Uh, is it tomb? Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. The, the Taiping War Cemetery. We are going to the Taiping War Cemetery yeah. to cover for this one. Yeah. So let's go. So let's go to the memorial tomb. Come on. So the memorial tomb is not so f that far from Bukit La Road. We can just uh, walk uh, like five minutes to the memorial tomb over there. So it's okay to miss that. We're going to change our plan, but just looking forward for lots of <laughs> for lots of our video. Here we are, I'm with the locals now. Uh, so, good morning. Uh, what's your name? Yes, sir. Yes, so, um, where are we at now? Uh, Taiping Old Cemetery. Taiping Old Cemetery. So, can you uh, give us any information about the cemetery? This map uh, part uh, Christian. Christian. Uh, Christian. Sebelah tu India Muslim. Yang sebelah sana tu Buka. Empat batu tu yang tu Budis. Budis. Uh. Okay, so as you can see, here are few of the Christian people that died during the World War Two in Malaysia for the British government GWC, like the locals said. And only this site is only for the Christians. And over there, across the road, is for uh, the Indian Muslim and then and Buddhist. So one cannot clean, and they have visited Taipei if they do not soak themselves in the nature of the lake garden. Uh, it was built on the uh, abandoned tin mine on 1880s, and they had uh, a, play, uh, a first place in the book of history of the Dan Malaya of a public garden. <laughs> Finish our jog and we are taking a break. And we are sitting on the almost a tree. Yeah, almost a 100 years old tree. As you can see, the tree has fell, and they support with a pillar underneath the tree so that it won't fell to and block it the roadway for the others mm. uh, to yeah. walk and jog. Food for the for uh for our dinner at Deport at Deport is it Deport Deport what? Uh, we are currently at Deport uh, and we're going to try the seafood uh, dishes. Yeah. Okay. This place is well known with the uh, seafood dishes. So uh, because we go on the regular day, uh, so there are not uh, many, there are not many people. people right now. But if you go during the weekend, there are tons of people here. Yeah. So let's eat it. That's it. That's it. Alright guys, so uh, this is uh, the one that we pick freshly and they cook at the back and this is so fresh out of the ocean if I'm not mistaken. So can you tell the viewers how it is? It's just it's just so crunchy and you can taste the freshness from the squid. As you can see this is a charcoal factory which is not on a very um, usual things that you could see every day. So have you ever seen uh, a charcoal factory before um, a sustainable one well to be honest uh, this uh, charcoal factory uh, age is almost like 80 plus uh, years so Alif what do you think about this uh, charcoal factory 
Uh, based on our research, uh, there are five main charcoal factories in Malaysia, and this is one of the largest uh, charcoal factories in Malaysia, uh, which is in Kuala Sepetang right now. And we are going to take a look inside. So, as a fact, um, uh, Chinese uh, people, the tra traditional Chinese people or the uh, Malay traditional people, they use charcoal to bake cookies. Uh, and also, they use uh, charcoal to boil soup. And, well, when you use charcoal uh, as, the, as your cooking as style, it can actually make the food become much more tasty. In fact, these charcoal uh, factories are the things that they produce are 60% of them are exported to Japan because of their high demand from Japan. So we are going to uh, river cruising and eagle feeding and also fish farms. Yeah. So we're going to ride a boat in order to accomplish those three things. So uh, this is the boat that we will be taking, and this is our uh, there is our captain in a blue shirt. <coughs> so you're right. So um, we are going to go for eagle feeding first. Um, we have our, our like um, meal ready for them, which is chicken, merely chicken, and so yeah. Semua bula, satu tahun lah, mau do naik dua kali cuci cuci pakai cap baru lah, dipe lah.